Matt, you and Justin are taking over a franchise that means so much to the city of Phoenix. It's not just a basketball team. It's not just a representation of the city of Phoenix. It's part of the fabric of who we are in Phoenix and in the state of Arizona. It's part of what it means to be a Phoenician and an Arizonan. It is a passion and a love, and it has been for almost 55 years. Now, we've talked about it in particular over the last 18 years, that no one individual truly owns the Phoenix Suns. You are simply a steward of the fans and taking care of what belongs to the Valley. You sign the checks, you technically own it based on a legal piece of paper, but in the end, the heart, the soul, and everything that it means to be a Phoenix Sun is part of this city. It's part of this state. It's part of the people that put in their hard-earned money and their time and their passion and their tears and their joy into this franchise. Now, we're excited to have you in the Valley. You both seem like genuinely good people that want to make an impact. And that's good because for the last decade and a half, things have been difficult. It's not just the 43-page report that outed the disgraced future former owner and his behavior on the business side. It's been difficult from a basketball perspective. The last two and a half years since the bubble have been great. An 8 no bubble run, a surprise finals run, and the best record in the NBA are all nice. And we don't look at that and, and, and turn a blind eye to it. But the 10, 11 years prior to that on the court, were some of the roughest in franchise history. It was maligned with bad management choices and worse coaching choices and even worse players at times. This was rough. It was the longest stretch this team had gone without making the playoffs. Hell, in the almost 55 years that this team's been here, they've made the playoffs 31 times. And it's likely to be 32 this year. But the one thing that's always eluded us in this town is a championship. You guys have the opportunity to bring a title and end the drought. It's not going to be easy, but guess what? If you do, you're going to become heroes in this town. You'll never pay for a drink. You'll, you talked about how the two months you've spent researching whether or not to buy the Suns, that you loved the city and the passion that its fans have. You haven't seen anything yet. Bring a title to this town, and you guys will literally be kings here. But it starts with not wasting the prime of one Devin Armani Booker. Book already is one of the greatest in franchise history. He has a very good chance this season, injuries withstanding, to wind up having the best points per game ever. He'll surpass Tom Chambers' 27.2 points in average. He ha he's averaging 27.1 right now. Easily could surpass Tom Chambers. He's going to surpass Steve Nash as the franchise leader in three-pointers. In fact, he only needs six more of them. So we're within striking dis distance already there. He's a top 10 in twos made and assists in franchise history. He's number five in free throws made and number six in points all time and likely to be number four when it's all said and done this season. He also has the highest point, second highest points per game for a career in Phoenix behind Charlie Scott. Now, everybody knows Devin Booker's good, and the numbers just back that up. But literally, you have a franchise-changing player in the midst of his prime. We haven't even seen the best of him yet as long as he can stay healthy. But you know what he's never truly had? A secondary superstar. The Shaq to his Kobe. The Dwayne Wade to his Shaq. The Pippen to his Jordan. He hasn't had that guy yet. How do we get him that guy? Because if the Suns want to win a title, that's the path to it. 
Now that's no knock on CP3, but he was on the downhills uh, of his career and wasn't in his prime when he came here from OKC. And we saw, even with a guy on the fringes of stardom and superstardom still, that Devin Booker elevated this franchise to another level. They got to the finals with that pairing. Imagine what you could do if you got him a guy closer to his prime, a guy that could be a true number two, a DeMar DeRozan, a Pascal Siakam, to a lesser extent, a Kyle Kuzma who would be a good running mate with him. Sure, DeAndre Ayton eventually could develop into a number two, but you don't have time to wait. Devin Booker had to wait far too long into his career to learn what winning was like. And now, you cannot waste the opportunity for him to get to the peak, for him to become a champion, for him, and by proxy you, to raise that Larry O'Brien trophy for the first time in Phoenix history. It's time to spend what it takes. It's time to get James Jones to make the deal and make it now before the salary cap and other implications make it that much more difficult. You have the assets. You have the expiring contracts. Now you just need to have the will. You guys are the deepest pocketed owners that have ever been here in Phoenix. And you also seem like you have the passion and the desire to want to win. Matt, I've seen you talk about your time at Michigan State and what it means to be part of that championship culture that Tom Izzo built. Well, we want to be part of the championship culture you and Devin Booker built here in Phoenix. Do whatever it takes. We're happy here to have you here in the Valley, but we can't wait to be thrilled to have you lifting that trophy and having a parade down Central. Let's get to work, Matt. We appreciate you.